Welcome to our review on atoms and isotopes. First thing we need to do is have a bit of a recap on what the structure of an atom actually is and what it's made of. So hopefully we remember that the atom itself has a nucleus which is made up of protons and neutrons and has a positive charge and then the electrons are occurring in shells called orbitals which are around the outside of the nucleus. So when we consider the three subatomic particles that make up an atom, we've got protons, neutrons and electrons. So the relative mass of a proton and a neutron is 1 and the relative mass of an electron is 0 0.0005. The relative charges of a proton is plus 1, neutron 0 and an electron is minus 1. Make sure you do know that table because that always used to be an old favourite question. So as we said, the nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons, protons that have a positive charge, neutrons no charge, hence why the nucleus is positive. The overall charge on the nucleus will depend on the number of protons that are present. Obviously, however many protons there are tell you the positive charge on the nucleus. The next thing we need to do is understand what we mean by the word isotope. So an isotope is an atom with the same atomic number, but a different mass number. And the reason for this is that it's got the same number of protons and electrons, but a different number of neutrons. So make sure you do remember the definition for an isotope there. The way we write them is as I've shown you in the middle there. So I've got three different isotopes of carbon, carbon 12, carbon 13 and carbon 14. So the number that comes after the word carbon tells us the actual mass number. So carbon 12, the mass number is 12, carbon 13, it's 13. So that when we then come to work out how many protons, electrons and neutrons they contain, we've got the atomic number, which is six for them all because it's carbon. So that means they all have six protons and six electrons, but the number of neutrons is different because the mass number is different. And if you remember to work out the number of neutrons, we do mass number minus the atomic number. So for carbon 12, it's 12 minus 6 gives us 6. For carbon 13, 13 minus 6 gives us 7. Carbon 14, 14 minus 6, which gives us 8. So just to recap on those two very important parts of information that we get in any box on the periodic table. Your atomic number is the number of protons or the number of electrons, it's the same. And the mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So if ever you want to work out your number of neutrons, it's the mass number minus the atomic number. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can describe what's in the nucleus of an atom and state the charge on the nucleus. You can recall the three subatomic particles, their mass relative to the mass of a proton and their relative charge. You can describe the term isotope and you can use the correct symbols for isotopes, including working out the number of protons, electrons and neutrons in any given isotope. 